always trying to come up with a different take on flies, right? Trying something different for a panfish. And uh, I made the I made them them the maggots with the with the the silicone bodies, and uh, they work pretty they work fairly well. The beat head with the maggot body cut in half. I caught bluegills, catfish, and all kind of stuff on. Um, but I went to make a more smaller one and go for more of a texture body, right? Go for uh, something more of a smaller latex. And I saw this mold. You can buy this. You can buy this mold that makes these little bitty, little bitty uh, maggots, right? And it makes a bunch of them. But the mold they want almost like a hundred dollars for. And I got the money again. I just I, I think think talk myself into it yet. But anyway, I, I saw this video where people the special effects uh, people make uh, maggots. And they make maggots out of this uh, liquid uh, latex, right? And they make a dab in it, and they let that latex dry, and they roll it with their fingers, and it rolls up and makes a little worm body, right? And they cut the head and paint the paint a little black head on it, and it looks pretty. It looks like a little magnet. I mean, ma maggot. And uh, so I thought, what if I took this latex and tied a body of a fly? using Chanel and then you know put this latex over it and I did that and I'll tell you what I was really surprised at what I came out with and um, so in the vise I have a white river size 12 curved hook uh, the bead I'm using a white river uh, 1 8 1 8 size bead head I already got it on the vise. Uh, I just got regular white waxed um, thread. I'm gonna build a uh, body. I'm gonna build a little bait thread base right there. I'm gonna go to about a little, little bit to about the bar, right? One thing I've experienced, if you go all the way back to here, that in, in, it interferes with the hook set. So, so once we got that on there, I'm gonna go back to the front. I'm gonna put a little bit of thread on the front just to hold that bead there so it'll quit bouncing, bouncing around on me. Don't have to put a lot, just a little bit holds it in place. Come back here to back to the body again. All right, micro white Chanel. All right. I'm gonna come back to the front. I'm gonna tie it in right there. Go ahead and work it back. Okay, work the thread back to the front and just start, just start twisting it on there. Try to get as tight as you can. I think I'd be perfect because the latex is going to hold it in shape. Okay, so we're going to get it like that. My big finger is getting away. That's been the most challenging thing for me is tie, uh, tie fly. Tie fly, I mean, sell my wife, uh, fly tie. Isn't working working with the handicaps of my big finger. Okay, so we got it on there. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap a few right there in the front of the head. Got too many times, just enough to build like a little neck. I'm gonna go ahead and, and whip finish it. That's the fly. Little maggot. Looks just like a little maggot. Little worm. Now, with that on there, I'm gonna take the latex, shake it up a little bit. This is what it looks like. Basically, basically I just painted it on. 
try not to get it all over my vise. Rotary vise helps. Get on the beat head, no big deal, just clean it off with your fingers. Now just let it dry. But when it's dry, it's, it's got a little give to it. And it clear it's a it's a clear dry. So I make one in tan and green that dries and leaves a green or a tan color but I like to clear well that's that's the fly right there and like I said when it dries it has a rubbery texture to it right so as a mouse feel mouth mouth blah, 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 mouth feel for the fish when they bite that I, it's gonna have give to it so I think it's gonna be more of a natural feel to it interested in trying them out uh, we're going to go fishing this weekend, but another hurricane rolled through and the bands are coming through. So it's not like Ida didn't work over Louisiana bad enough. Now we have uh, Nicholas or whatever the, the next one is. It hit Texas and rolling up the coast. So it's going to be a couple of days so I can get out and go fishing. All right, well, about 20 minutes have gone by. It's dried. So as you can see, it's still green, but it's got a little white tint to it. The white one comes out really nice. And it's got, it's got a, it's got a little texture that gives. So when they bite it, I'm assuming that it's going to feel more natural to them. Hmm. Interested to try them out, see how it works. <laughs> 